everyone, welcome back to another walkthrough of one of my projects. So this was a project I did at the end of my first year of web development and we had a lot of creative fr freedom with this. So it was just meant to be like an HTML, CSS and JavaScript project. Just plain vanilla JavaScript. Um, just to get our feet in the water and, and really learn how JavaScript works with them client-side programming. So, um, I chose to do one of my favorite movies, um, or movie company, Studio Ghibli. Or Ghibli, I'm not really sure how you say the title. I mean, there's probably like so many resources I could go to to find out how to say it, but I just always forget. But I just really, really adore these movies. Um, yeah, these are just um, movies that are really special to me and I think they really laid a foundation um, for me, like my interests. So um, yeah, I thought why not dedicate um, my final project to making a little fan website for Studio Ghibli, Julie. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you come to the homepage and it's a, just a big face of Totoro, just what else do you need, right? Um, so it's a really basic website. We have um, the films page and I saw this later and I thought it was just beautiful so I, I did something a little similar. Um, it's not the same card layout but yeah, just scroll down so you can um, read about all the movies. Now, where I'm getting all these information, where I'm getting all this information from is um, not like me researching it and typing it all out. That would take too much time. I'm using um, an API. Um, it's right here. Um, so this is the one that I'm using and it's pretty basic. Um, it's not, it wasn't my favorite to work with. Um, I had to work around um, the images part, which you'll see soon. Um, it doesn't have any images in there, which kind of sucks. I think the creator of this API maybe should have put them in, but it has a lot of like the basic details um, that you need. So um, you can filter these movies. There's there's actually a few directors um, in this company, and I mean everyone knows who Hayao Miyazaki is if they are familiar with these films. Um, so if you just want to be like Hey, yeah, I want to watch a film directed by Hayao Miyazaki. Well, here they are. He directed quite a few of them. But we'll go to Isao Takahata, and he um, did these ones. Um, this person only did one. And yeah, as you can see, you can filter them fairly easily. Um, what was another fun little feature I put in my fan website was a character quiz. Um, it says, character quiz, hmm, what movie were they from? Tell me by selecting a film from the drop-down. So you have the character's name, which is directly from the API. The image is actually one that I found online. And did a little, um, tinkering around to get this in here to match up with the API. Um, you'll see that shortly when I do my code review. Um, so yeah, um... We can go through a drop-down list of all of the different movies. If I know where Yakul's from, I'll just go, hmm, I think it's Princess Mononoke. Okay, that's correct. Gonza. Whoever made this API really likes Princess Mononoke, okay, because he's from there. Oh, Tatsuo Kusakabe. He is not from Princess Mononoke. Okay. But just to show you that there is an incorrect feature, I'm going to purposely choose the incorrect one. See? right here. So I believe once you hit a certain number of correct answers, you will win. So let me just go, let's make us win very quickly. I mean, I love these movies, so I, I know how to win. Oh, what? No, that was right. What the heck? What the heck? I gotta pay attention. Okay, yeah, so I did add a little um, library, I forget what it's called. Um, we'll probably find out in the code review because um, I haven't done this, I haven't worked on this project in quite a while. So um, I guess for testing purposes I did set it at 3 instead of 30, but if this was like a live website I might change that to 30. So it says you have guessed at least 30 characters correct. 
thus far. So obtain prize for free Jubilee art print by me. We're going to say okay. Now we can obtain the prize, the little toaster right here. And there's the button. Oh, there you go, a little piece of artwork by me. You can save it and be like, this is my prize because I am a Jubilee fan. But yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to my little website here. Um, if you really like jigsaw puzzles, you would love working with Mel JavaScript. And I have to say, it is important that you learn the basics of it first before you jump into any library or framework. To create this little website, I just used Visual Studio Code. I think it's one of the most popular code editors out there now. I really like it. I think it has everything you need, especially for something that just uses plain JavaScript, HTML, and CSS now. This program, or this application, I guess you could call it, um, has your standard HTML, your JavaScript, and for styling, we use actually SAS. Um, for those who haven't really used SAS much, it's, um, I guess it's like compiled CSS. Um, it makes the job really quick. Um, one thing you will have to, um, I forget if I just installed a little um, extension to watch my SAS. I think there's probably one. Uh, that was made by... Ah, yes. I did use this one. Um, it, I mean, this is just a really easy, quick way to watch your SAS so that when you do preview it, it works because currently I don't believe it does just because I'm using a different computer right now. Um, anyways, um, let's just get into the JavaScript. So we have a lot going on here. Um, this is the trivia JavaScript file and then this is our main JavaScript file. Now, um, I... I fetched the API, just the films, because remember when I went to that page where it filtered the films based on the director and there was also an average rating? Well, this is where all of that is done. Um, and so there is an on change event that is triggered by the idea of that select, which is called director select. And every time that event is triggered, um, there will be a filter that will, um, a filter function, which is one of JavaScript's higher order functions, to um, get the film that exists already in the API and match it to the director's name. Um, and you're probably wondering, like, how does that get displayed? Well, down here is where I'm, um, am I creating nodes? Let me just see. I'm not creating nodes. It looks like here I am creating elements like the div, which is the card, the box that everything's in, the heading, which is the title of the movie, so you can see right here, and then the p tag, that is the description. Um, and then in order to see what's even on the screen, we have to append these. Um, and yeah, so you did notice the, the rating, the average rating, that's just... Um, a filter and reduce, I believe. Um, oh no, it's a map. Sorry. Um, so map and reduce are also higher order functions. Um, they're a lot better to use. Yeah, so let's go to the trivia JavaScript. Now this one was um, quite fun to write just because I wanted images and I also, okay, there's the library used, Alertify. No, remember when that little post toaster came up, um, the pop-up and then the toaster? Well, that's coming from this library right here. Um, yeah, so 
This time I'm doing two fetch calls because this is a quiz where you select, where you see a character and you select its film. So, therefore, we need to access the people in the API in the films. Down here, I believe this is what is triggering an event to go to the next um, character. Let me see. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I see what it's doing now. So up here, there are a few empty arrays that are initialized. We have the right answer, which um, is displaying, well, well, it will eventually display your correct count and your incorrect count. And then we have your past characters. Now, past characters is way, um, a, a way around um, duplicates. We don't want the same character to come up because that's basically a free point. So we're putting whatever has already showed up in here. I want it, it to cycle around the entire characters. And so, yeah, um, this is this whole section right here is determining if it's um, correct or wrong and if it has already passed. And um, right here, remember when I said, oh, it would be 30 if it was a live website, but for testing purposes, I made it to three. Well, this is where I pull in the library and I I say like, if it if their correct count, reaches three in that array, then there you go, you won. Congrats. Yeah, so um, like I said, it's a random character. So we just have this that's randomizing the characters in that people JSON or like, you know, that fetch call right here, that people one. So it's targeting the ID on the HTML page um, where it's located and then it's doing one of those simple image tags where images accessing this folder and you'll notice like all these weird codes. This is actually a character ID. So it's matching the character ID and the character image. So that's how it's matching all of these characters to the images with O even being in the API. And yeah, then we're calling it. Remember when I was saying it was targeting IDs? Well, here's all these IDs and it's appending to all of them. So there's not very much written in my HTML. It's mostly um, client side JavaScript. And if we go to home, so here's the um, page known as study, or not study, um, films. And that's where we're able to filter through the directors and see the average rating. When you select this, it's going to trigger that event and sort the films for you. And the films are all in this container right here. So yeah, I hope, um, that helps you understand how this website was built. It's a lot of work when you're figuring everything from scratch, or sorry, figuring out everything from scratch. Um, it was a lot of fun to create my favorite movie database um, or fan website, what I call it. And I'm really glad to have got to learn JavaScript this way. Anyways, until then, I'll see you on my next video.